video I am going to be showing you my top 12 favourite pretty little thing dresses. 12 is a bit of a weird number, I was going to do top 10 but there are 12 that I, I went and couldn't decide which 12, which 10 to do so I'm doing 12. Um, I've worn most of them before, um, some of them I haven't worn so I haven't taken the label out of. Um, you know you just have a dress that you love so you're just saving it for a good occasion I haven't actually came to a good enough occasion to wear it yet I think probably save one of them for my birthday the other one I was planning on wearing at New Year's but we didn't end up going out like properly anyway so um, 12 dresses that I'm going to show you um, and I really hope you like this video so let's get on to it so the first dress I'm going to start off with I actually have on now and um, so this is what it looks like so this is the first dress it's leopard print very stretchy and yeah overall love this dress um very comfy yeah doesn't do well with my spaghetti belly though <laughs> the next dress that i'm going to show you is this one so when i ordered it it looked like it was very pink so like, obviously i love i love the color pink sorry about my <laughs> blowing my nose I've uh, got quite a bit of a cold. This is the next dress that I'm going to be trying on so it looks like this Um, it's meant to be like you obviously see when it go when I put it on but um, I think like it's meant to have a little bit of under boob because there really isn't a lot of material here um, and a nice bit to cover the stomach so it's not completely out but um, yeah I liked it it's good good material um, quite thick and it's all like ribbed if you can see um, the only thing is that um, it's not the colour that I wanted it to be but I don't have a dress that colour so yeah this is what it looks like on so this is the next dress it's a little bit more see through than the other one and um, you can see that like little pant lines are out but um, yeah this is the next dress so my next dress, if you're wondering like what's behind me, that is all the dresses laid out there, just so I don't like forget to show you any of them. Um, so, funny story about this one, it's not that funny, but anyway, looks white, so we're happy basically. Um, I wore this to a paint party in Magaluf and a paint party in Lincoln, um, and the paints managed to come up both times. So um, yeah, this is a white little cropped um top again so there is a little bit of you can either have it high and have a bit of under boob or what cover your boobs and have a little bit over the top but it's quite nice it doesn't it makes sure you're all like it's tucked up i probably recommend sander tape um to cover the nips because <laughs> obviously it's white so yeah but and then it ties at the front it's quite nice but um yeah so this is the next one as you can see this is also very thin material because it's white and you would have to definitely wear white pants with it because you can see through it but considering this is done to um paint parties i'd say a white dress is yeah still quite good so this is this dress so next up i have one of my favorite colours of dress just because it makes you look so tanned well it doesn't make you look tanned I think it looks really good with a tan um so this is a really bright neon dress um the model that wore it has fake boobs um so hers looks absolutely amazing just kind of there um because this is like a kind of one of those low necks so there's me thinking my boobs are gonna look like like out but no there is just no support there whatsoever that's just swinging so um yeah that it just kind of is what your boobs are you know they're just kind of like just behind that nothing's like sucking them in um but yeah um i absolutely love this dress when i wore it um i think i remember tying it because it was quite um quite very flowy that things would come out so um yeah i did tie it but yeah so this is my highlighter dress um as you can see it is very like flowy here um so you probably would want to tie that just to make sure that nothing slips out at all um the back's actually quite pretty it's got like nice like delicate stuff next up we have 
Now I love this material, I think this is my favourite material of dress, I have quite a few of them as you'll find out. But um, so this is, it's really confusing to put on, like really confusing, because um, it's like, it looks like you just don't know what to do with it. Um, I had, think I had to look at the model to work out what to do with it because I was just really lost. Um, but anyway, when it's on, I absolutely loved it, it's not tight at all, so... You don't, if you're bloated or something, you don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this material, it's satin. Um, yeah, I just thought it looked, I didn't have anything orange, so I thought it looked really nice. So, so this is the next dress, I love satin dresses. D dresses? <laughs> dresses. Um, I've seen this in black and I've really wanted to get it for a while, but I haven't actually got around to it. So it's one of the ones that you like, there's like a little loop in the middle, so you, Hook it over, tie it, and then yeah, a little bit shorter. Um, it's open back, but as I said, it's very loose, so you're not all like yeah. But um, yeah, I really like this dress. I think it's a lovely colour. <laughs> Next, we have um a dress that I wore on a night out in Nottingham, uh, for my best friend's birthday. Um, there's quite a few people I know that have this dress. Um, it came in burgundy or the colour I have, which is a goldy colour, um, and yeah, I know people that have both of them, I think they were both really nice, I couldn't really decide, but um, yeah, I went with this one, this is the same kind of like droopy neck, um, I absolutely loved it on, it was, I remember buying it and thinking it was nice, and then I tried it on again and I really didn't like it, and I was like, oh, like I've passed the time, I could have sent it back, then when I actually wore it, I was like, why did I think it was so bad, like I actually loved the dress, so yeah, it's a, uh, I think it's very classy looking. It's got nice little buckles here. So this is that dress that I wore in Nottingham. I'm not gonna lie, I've not done it all the way to the back because I feel like I don't want someone to help me and I can't do it myself. But um, yeah, I think it's lovely material, very classy. Um, but yeah, this is that one. So here we have the dress I wore on my 18th birthday, so I absolutely love it. I know a lot of people on the 18th or 21st go all out, and I didn't go all all out, like it is obviously only from Pretty Little Thing, I could have got an O Poly dress or something, um, that are a bit more expensive, but I'm trying to save money and everything, so I didn't spend too much, um, but I absolutely loved this dress, I just, pink is my absolute favourite colour, so I was very happy with it. Um, so, sat in, and I had a lovely, like, cut outside, um, yeah, I absolutely loved it, however, <laughs> on the night, um, one of the straps actually broke, uh, which wasn't convenient at all, because it literally would just keep falling down, um, so yeah, I had to get my mum to say that for me, but I've been able to wear it since, so actually, it's not too bad if a strap breaks, it's not the end of the world, you can still wear it again, you just got to learn how to sew, basically. But um, yeah, I feel like I've not put this on properly because the straps are really loose. But um, yeah, love this material. Think it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, this was my birthday dress for 18. So next month it would have been a year since I wore this. So um, yes, side cut out bit. Yeah. So this dress actually isn't mine. Um, however, the girl that I share a flat with, we are. Uh, we share clothes, so like I wear her dresses, she can wear mine. Um, but I absolutely love it, and it's some pretty little things. So, just wanted to show you this as well. Um, there is actually another dress in a minute that's the same, but um, so I don't, I've never owned a yellow dress, and it is just so nice with tan. Like, it is just, it's just such a lovely summery dress. And we're in the winter at the minute, so I've not worn this, but um. Yeah, I just absolutely love it. And it's not um it's not a thin material that you'd see your pants through, it's actually a really good quality material. So uh yeah. So this is that yellow dress. Um I mean I thought it is quite a thick material, but yeah, you can still see pants. I feel like you can see pants in most dresses, so I wouldn't worry too much. Um yeah, it's a nice material. Um makes you look tanned so I am living for that 
Um, but yeah, I think it's it's not like really, really short. You can make it quite long, so it could be worn to like a quite a classy place maybe. But um, yeah, I like this dress a lot. <laughs> Why was I out rare? Now, this actually isn't a dress, as you will see. It's a two-piece, um, but when you wear it, it does look like a dress, kind of. So I thought I may as well throw that in here as well. Um, I actually didn't intentionally buy it as a two-piece. I bought the skirt because I really liked it, and then I saw a crop top another time and ordered that, and then when it came, I was like, I swear I've seen that material before. And it turns out they actually <laughs> match. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. So. This is the top, it's just a little bandeau. So obviously you can mix and match, you could, I could wear this with jeans or something. Um, but yeah, and then I've got a matching skirt with it, which, I mean, I love leopard print. I love any animal print, really. Hence the one I've got on now. Um, so yeah, I've worn that to quite a few animal parties. Um, yeah, I just... So I this is that two-piece, um, the unintentional two-piece. Um, I really like it, I think. It's a very nice pattern. Um, yeah. Yeah. This is probably one of my favourites, to be fair. I think it's really, uh, yeah, I like it quite a lot. Obviously, <laughs> from the side, I've got like a proper spaghetti belly, like I've kept saying. But, um, yeah, I think. And it's nice that you can just wear this with jeans or like a different top with it as well. But that's this one. So, this dress. Um, I've worn twice, I think. I love red dresses. I think they just, red's just a bomb colour, isn't it? Like, I love red. Um, that was a bit of a weird sentence for me to say. I'm probably going to cut that out. So, the next dress I'm going to show you, um, I've worn twice, I think. Um, it's very flattering um, on the, like, front area because of the cut of it. Um, However, it's not the thickest material, so there is a chance you could see like your line of pants. It's not see-through or anything, but it's just not as thick as the one I just showed you. But um, red is such a lovely colour. Um, just pop in, you know. So yeah, this is that dress. So I'll just try that on now for you. This is that red dress that I was showing you. Um, I think I do normally wear a bra with it, so but I can't remember. I have to try it on without but um yeah it's quite thin material um it's probably one of the cheaper things i've got but yeah it's a nice color so yeah close down on my tiptoes to show you the dress but yeah bright hot pink dress i think that was such a lovely color i don't actually have any dresses that are high at the back so hopefully i don't get too sweaty <laughs> um yeah, this one's actually a really thick material as well, really, really thick. So, I actually had to squeeze into it when I tried it on this morning. Um, the only, well, as you'll see, it's very, it's fine everywhere else. Um, I wouldn't need to go up a size in terms of the body, but like across the chest, I think it's, like, I don't have massive boobs, but it's it literally suffocates me. I feel like from the front it's fine because they're kind of like pushed up a little bit, but from the side, it's just like, like you can tell that they're like squashed so uh yeah we'll see how that goes but i love the dress um it's not basic either it's got the nice cut out here so um yeah i'll show you that and that's what i'm wearing tonight so um i'll do my hair and everything when i might put a clip of me wearing that so, one <laughs> do you know what i mean i feel like a ironing board from the side but um yeah it's not thin at all so you can't really see anything through it not a lot of air to be honest um you probably could have gone probably if i was like buying it myself i probably would have got a small a bigger size <laughs> definitely bigger size but um yeah i think yeah this is that dress i think it's very cute get some eyeshadow as well you can see it <laughs> so saving the best till last I ordered this dress quite a while ago, but this is the one that I haven't ever worn. I still haven't taken the tag off it, but I absolutely love it. It's one of those ones that's quite long, so you couldn't just wear it clubbing. You'd have to wear it to a, a really, really nice club or bar or, like, event kind of thing. Um, but it's just so... It's like... Oh, I'm just going to have to show you it. It's satin, so I love it. Um, and it's like a, it looks like a bodysuit, but then it's in, like, a really classy dress. So, are you ready? I don't think you're ready. 
terrified. <laughs> Look at this. It's so, so, so nice. Like, what, what is going on? This is like, I feel like it looks so much more expensive than it was. Like, I can't remember how much it was, but it's, I oh, just absolutely love it. Look at that, it's so pretty. Anyway, I can't wait to wear this dress. So this is, without a doubt, my favourite dress um, ever that I've owned. Um, so it's literally like a bodysuit, but it goes into... I don't know how I'm even going to show you, to be honest. <laughs> I thought I'd um, slip that then a little bit more, so I can't get up on the bed. But it's really long. Um, it's got a lovely slit in it, but I just think, like... The material and everything is literally, I think it's just stunning, I think. I don't know whether my birthday is like a little bit, it's a bit too much of that because it's such a long, dark dress, but yeah. So that is all of the dresses for today. I'm going to show you my top 12 dresses. Um, in case any of you are wondering or wanted to get any of them, I didn't spend a lot on dresses, so they wouldn't have been that much, um, I don't think. Any of them are over £30, definitely not. Probably 20 is the most I'd spend on one of the dresses, to be honest. Um, and they're all in size 8. So that's just kind of like, I just get everything in that size. Um, and just hope for the best. Sometimes they come up a little bit small, sometimes they're a little bit big. But um, yeah, I'd just say 8 is like the average size of all of them. But yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to do... If you want to do... No, <laughs> if you want me to do any more videos like this, then definitely... Um, yeah, if you want me to do any more videos like this, um, or if you've really enjoyed this, then please let me know. Um, I hope you've liked them, and yeah, they're all from Free Little Thing, so if you want to go get some, definitely go check it out, because it's amazing. My nose is running, so I've got to go, <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you like this video, and thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your Sunday, because it'll be a Sunday when I upload, because I always upload on a Sunday, just in case you were wondering. It was nice to see you guys. I can't see you. <laughs> I hope you like this video, and I will see you next week. Bye!